Hey guys, it's Ryan with My Listing Club. In this video, I'm gonna be picking up where I left off with a, another UiPress video on how to supercharge your My Listing WordPress dashboard with UiPress. So again, this picks up where that guide, that video uh, left off. And in this particular video, we're gonna be covering how to create custom admin pages for My Listing websites. All right, so this could have been wrapped up in that other guide in the other video, but I think this is such a cool feature, an important feature that uh, I wanted to break this out into its own its own little silo, if you will. So let's go ahead and get into this. And uh, here on the My Listing Club website, you can get to this guide uh, by going to the menu and My Listing Resources, and then uh, just type in UI Press to see all the UI Press related guides and this one right here, how to supercharge your My Listing WordPress dashboard with UiPress is the one that just dropped before this one. And the one we're working on now is this very first one here, how to create custom admin pages for My Listing websites with UiPress. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up this guide and uh, I'm just gonna literally follow this guide along on my other screen um, for this video. Okay, so I'm gonna pull that over here. And let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, this is looking at my test site. Uh, it's where I left off in my last video, like I said, uh, with configuring UiPress. And now we're just gonna tackle the, the admin pages part. Okay, so to do that, uh, the very first thing we wanna tackle is permissions. Um, if you watch my other video, you'll, you'll know that we, we, we white labeled some stuff um, and as part of that white part of that white labeling, I renamed UI Press to my listing club. So if you were to type UI Press in here, you're not going to find anything. But if you type in my listing club, you're going to find stuff. So again, I renamed UI Press uh, to my listing club. So any reference to UI Press is now going to be my listing club. So that's how you white label part of how you white label the UI Press plugin. Okay. So the first thing we want to go into is settings. And uh, we want to go to admin pages. And we're, like I said, we want to set the permissions, you know, um, who can edit and create the admin pages, who can see them, that sort of thing. So what we want to do is, and I did this in the last video, is who can edit and create admin pages. We only want the administrator to be able to do this because it's such a powerful um, feature. Um, and typically anything outside of the administrator level is just more about creating content. So like an editor or an author uh, shouldn't have this type of thing. Um, who can see it? We, we basically want everybody to be able to see it, uh, at least for the purposes of this video. So I went ahead and punched in that administrators, editors, and authors will see these admin pages. Okay. Um, so that's it for the permissions. Now, for this video and the guide, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume people are gonna use Elementor to build this, um, since Elementor is such an integral part of my listing websites and building content with my listing websites. We're gonna stick with that. You can absolutely use Gutenberg. Um, you can use another page builder of your choice. I don't know why you would use another page builder if you're already using Elementor, but you do have that option. Like uh, maybe you have a a site that's not using my listing, you can use Beaver Builder or you know whatever you want there. So again, we're going to use Elementor for the purposes of this this video. All right, so let's prepare Elementor. To do that, we go from the WordPress dashboard, expand Elementor, go to Settings, and we see here that we're saying that the post types that Elementor should look at are posts and pages. So that's saying we should be able to edit our posts and pages with Elementor. But as you see here, admin page is not selected. So we just wanna say, hey, uh, let's take those admin pages from UiPress and, and let's allow Elementor to edit those, okay? Um, before I save those changes, let's let's go ahead and look at a uh, creating a page. So let's go back here to, let me type it in the search box here. Again, this search box, if you follow it along with my um, other video, this this is UI Press creates this, this search function up here. So I'm just gonna type in admin and that pulls up our admin pages. I'm gonna go to all admin pages and I'm gonna do add new. And 
we'll go ahead and give it a title. I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, what did I do in the video? Support page, editor training. Okay, editor training is what I call this one. So let's do editor training. And as we see here, there's no button, there's no way to edit this page with Elementor. So I'm going to go ahead and publish this just so it's out there. And now let's go back to those settings with Elementor. So again, we're gonna type in admin pages, or sorry, settings. That's not working. I'll type in my listing club. I'm not sure why that's not coming up. Uh, da, 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 da. Brain farting this, sorry guys. Um, Elementor, that's where we wanted to go. Okay, admin pages. We're going to toggle that on and save our changes. Now let's refresh this page. There we go. We now have our edit with Elementor button. And this all might look funny to you um, because UI press is enabled, but this is just part of the branding. So you would just need, if, if, if all this coloring looks strange, you just need to go into UI press styles and, and make the changes. So I have not done that uh, for this, these particular areas of the website yet. So that's why they look the way they do. But you can all, this is all fully customizable. Um, even if you can't hit it with UI press style settings, which I believe you can, you can, you can drop your own CSS, CSS in for all of this stuff. Okay. All right. So enough about that. So the other thing you can do before we edit the page with Elementor is, is choose an icon. Um, and I do need to write into the developer about this because um, let me actually take a screenshot of this. The icons are hard to get to. Let me take a screenshot of that. Uh, but for this video, let's just pick one. Uh, let's see. We'll just put this this little guy, whatever that is. All right, and we'll click update. So that now gives us that custom icon for that, for this admin page. Now the next thing we wanna do is edit this page with Elementor. And let me remember how I did this. That should work. We've got that, got that chosen. Let's go back to Oh, I know what it is. So I'm trying to think if I have this in my notes. Let's try this one more time. I think we might have a permalink flush issue. All right, let's edit this page. Yeah, I think because it's telling us there's a 404, let's go to our settings and permalinks and just flush those. So I just hit the save changes button a couple times and it flushes those permalinks. See up there, permalink structure updated. All right, now let's go back. There we go. I'll update, I'll, 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 I will update the guide, I can't talk. I will update the guide to have that step in there. Uh, I missed adding that in. Okay, so at this point, you can do all of your normal things that you do with Elementor. Uh, I'm going to pull in a, a template that I've already built. This template was, template was built for um, another guide that I recently did, which was building custom, custom uh, dashboard pages with um, Elementor. So, but I'm going to use this same template. So I pulled it down. I'm going to import it in. And uh, let's see. Yeah, it's this guy right here, the support page. And I haven't done any styling with Elementor or anything on this, this test site, so that's why it's gonna look all funky like this. But um, all of that is obviously editable. editable. So we're gonna change this to editor 
training. And then in this, in this, however you build your template or import the one that I provide, um, you know, you could just add your topics that then link to the various sections and then have training videos and whatever you want to do there. Totally up to you. So we're going to go ahead and update this page. Going back here, let's go ahead and we'll just do one more refresh just for fun. And we see down here at the bottom left, we now have that our custom admin page. If we click that, it's really cool. So it stays right inside of your admin dashboard and then drops in that slug editor-training and there's all your stuff. Let's just go do one more for fun. All admin pages, add new. Let's call this um, vendor onboarding. So like maybe you had WooCommerce product vendors. Uh, you can have a special page just to help onboard your vendors. Okay, and we'll just choose our icon. Put that little shopping cart there just for now. Um, and edit with Elementor. And again, sky's the limit here. Design however you're used to designing. Uh, pull in a pre-made page. Um, whatever. So we can just pull in something here. Da 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 da. -da. Let's pull in this one. Oh, I'm not connected there. All right. Anyway, you get the idea. You can pull in the templates. Uh, I wait pull in my support page again. And we'll call this vendor onboarding. And again, set your sections up however you want. And then like at the bottom here, I have a, a, a form that can submit a, a request or whatever top, whatever categories you want. Etc. Etc. Let's go ahead and publish this. So now at the bottom of our dashboard again, we have uh, vendor onboarding. So click that. And there we are. We're staying right inside of the um, the WordPress dashboard, and all the training is right there. And you see there's this slug. You can also change this if you want to just change that to whatever you want or make it shorter even or whatever you want to do there. Um, for that, we just go back to our, um, we go back to our settings for UI press. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing Not sure why I'm not seeing my um, UI, UI press settings anymore. I must have locked myself out of something, uh, which is easy to do. You can get it, you can get it back, but um, let me see here. Yeah, that's what I did as part of that last video. I locked myself out of some menus. Um, anyway, you get the idea with, when you're in, when you're in the, um, UI press settings here, I'll, I'll pull up a different site here. Let's see. There, I can show you on this site. So when you're in the UI press settings and then under, so where I lock, lock myself out is the, um, the menu creator. Uh, I created a menu, custom menu and locked myself out. Anyway, that's all on the other guide. Oh, here we go. Menu creator down here. That's what I did. I locked it down to editors and authors. Anyway, so back to the admin pages. You can actually change that slug. So if you, right now it defaults as it shows there to admin-pages. You can change that to whatever you would like. Maybe just admin, you know, whatever you want it to be. And then just save your changes. And then once you do that, let's click on this editor training down here. So now we see the slug is just admin. You, you can make that, whatever, again, whatever you want. So I'll put that in there. 
All right, guys, I think that is it. Um, I, I know this went really quick, and when you look at the guide, it is not super long, um, but this is extremely, extremely powerful stuff if you can think, of, if you think about it. Um, whatever you can dream up and build with either Gutenberg or Elementor, um, it's all at your fingertips. And then, you know, a, a pro tip is if you look at the other guide that I did with UI Press, uh, if you build these custom admin pages, you can then add them to your menu uh, if you create custom menus based on roles. So, you know, let's say that you create that, that vendor, uh, custom vendor admin page. Maybe you want to only show that admin page to your vendor, to the vendor roles. So you create that custom menu with your iPress and you specify your admin pages for the vendors. Uh, that's a really cool way of just keeping that stuff self-contained um, based on role so that not everybody needs to see it. Um, anyway, super powerful stuff. Uh, I think you, you, this should be getting your creative juices flowing and um, I hope it does. And uh, as always, if you have any questions or you come up with something cool, please share it with the group and uh, love to hear about it. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.